check it out. It's Sam the Raven. You know, he's a douchebag. I think a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying when I'm when I say like a raven doesn't make a good pet. And you ha you have to understand. I do this for a living. I work with animals for a living. You know, I don't have a kid running around here. Do you have a child? Maybe a raven wouldn't be such a good idea. Love is not enough for the raven, it's the truth. They need a lot more than that, and you can't just let him do whatever. Although he he walks around my studio and my house. He can, he can go wherever, he's sort of like a cat. But think about this, I'll give you an example of how a raven can be a pain in the ass. They're a bird, so they have to take a bath. So you have to leave like a big like tub of water. I have to leave like a big giant tub out for him, right? So when he gets in it, Water gets spilled everywhere. It's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. He doesn't give a shit. He's a fucking raven. If you if you even have the water centrally located, like in a in a cage, right? Say you have a cage for him, and he could go in there and bathe in there. If there's any food or anything like that, or any, it gets wet. It becomes a fucking mess. I found it's better just to leave the tub out wherever. Like I have one whole room that has nothing in it and at my house and Sam can go up there and take a bath. It's a mess, I'm telling you. Or in the studio, like I put the tub of water on top of a crate. That's that white tub back there. You know, like that dish tub. He gets in it and causes a huge mess. The idea of having a pet raven sounds good to a lot of people. But a lot of ravens, they never end up leaving the cage because the raven bites. And they will. He'll bite. Are you kidding me? The claws, too. The claws hurt. They hurt. They're, they're, that's a very large bird. It hurts. Even a small bird like a, a, a cockatoo, something like that, you have it on your hand, it's going to claw you and it's going gonna, it's gonna to grab on real tough. They, could, they can cause you to bleed just with their claws. Their beak, too. It's the idea of having the pet raven that people like. It's, it's when you get it, you'll, you'll find out that it's a lot of animal and probably not appropriate for most people. You'd really have to be a bird person and you should be a bird person that has a lot of experience with other species. This is one of the more difficult species to deal with. Parrots aren't easy either. Don't think it's gonna go well having a parrot. If you want to try bird, I have my pet, my pet pigeon, Remy, my pigeon wife. She's awesome. Try something smaller like that. They're just as smart. This notion that the smart animal is the cool animal to have. No, my dog Ike, he's a big dummy. He makes for a great pet. Having the super smart animal is not that easy. It isn't. It requires a lot. So just keep that in mind. It's not... A raven is not, raven or crow is not a pet for most people. It isn't going to go well, the raven's going to bite the person, and then all of a sudden, the raven will be in a cage for the rest of its life. So, get bit by a smaller bird, get bit by a pigeon, see if you can handle a pigeon. Can you handle a pigeon? There you go. Then maybe consider it.